Welcome back. You're watching Beyond World is One, and this is World DNA with me, Jyotra Kumar, and my colleague, Shivan Jaina. Let's start with the headlines. Bangladesh is now going to become the next Pakistan. Mm -hmm. She is 77 years old. This was going to be her last term. She was going to retire after this anyway. Former Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina son speaks to Vion, says the people of Bangladesh are ungrateful, says Bangladesh will be next Pakistan. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres urges calm in Bangladesh after the designation and departure of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina highlights the need for a peaceful, orderly and democratic transition. Former Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina meets India's NSA Ajit Doval after she lands at an airbase near Delhi, discusses situation in her country. Indian Air Force is on alert in every eastern sector in view of the developments in the neighbouring nation. Sheikh Hasina is expected to leave for London, where she may seek political asylum. She is likely to stay in India until UK grants asylum. India's External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Shankar to make a statement in the Parliament on, the bang on Bangladesh's situation. He briefed Prime Minister Modi on the situation and met opposition leader Rahul Gandhi on Monday. At least five U.S. personnel were injured in an attack against a military base in Iraq as West Asia braces for a possible new wave of attacks by Iran and its allies. U.S. President Joe Biden and Jordan's King Abdullah discuss efforts to de-escalate tensions in West Asia after Iran vows to retaliate against Israel over the killing of a Hamas leader in Tehran. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the United States is working around the clock to prevent escalation in West Asia, urges Israel and Hamas to break the cycle of violence through a ceasefire. Kamala Harris is closing in on her vice presidential pick with an announcement expected within 24 hours as she scrambles to introduce herself to the American public with a tour of battleground states just three months out from the election. From New York to London and Tokyo, equities get camelling. Weak economic data and underwhelming corporate earnings offsets positive market sentiment. Tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 sees its worst start to a month since 2008.